Hey guys, welcome to ITR. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert Windows 10 installations from Legacy BIOS to UEFI that is much more faster and secure without having to copy the data off the disk and without reinstalling Windows. I will not be using any third-party tool. I'll be using an application called as MBR2GPT that is provided since Windows 10 Creators Update. So the entire process will be a two-step process. The first process will be using that tool MBR2GPT to convert your disk from MBR partitioning style to GPT. Um, it will also shrink your partition to create 100 MB partition for EFI system. And second step would be going to your firmware settings and change the boot mode options from legacy BIOS to UEFI. So let's get started. Okay, so on this PC Windows 10 is installed in uh, legacy BIOS mode. You can see it from the settings when I click on start and go to system information. And from here you can see that BIOS mode is set to legacy and uh, legacy mode installation can only happen in Windows 10 uh, when the drive is in MBR mode. So you can see from the disk drive when I right click start disk management. And from here you can see that the partition on which I have Windows 10 installed when I go to properties of that disk 0. On the volume tab you can see the partition style is master boot record. So uh, the very first step is that we'll be using an application MBR to GPT to convert this disk to GPT. It will be shrinking the C partition to create a 100 MB partition for EFI file system. And then we'll be changing the, the firmware settings. So uh, let's start with the command prompt. Let's open it up in administrator mode. And over here now, I will be running the command MBR and just hit tab key it will automatically complete it. Now uh, if you don't remember these switches I can simply press enter key and it's going to show you what all switches we can use. The very first switch is validate if you want to validate a particular drive can be converted to GPT or not. Uh, maybe if it is already in GPT it will give an error. Other option is you can convert, you can use the convert option. So I'm going to use this convert option to convert this disk zero to GPT. So uh, all I need to do is type MBR GPT slash convert. Now uh, there's also option for disk if you have some additional drive that where the Windows is installed, you can op optionally specify slash disk zero or one whatever disk it is. So uh, if I don't specify the disk, it will use the current existing system disk. So if I say uh, MBR to GPT slash convert and I press enter key, it's giving me error that MBR GPT can only run in Windows PE environment. That is if you uh, reboot your Windows to Windows PE or pre-installation environment, or you uh, run with Windows normal Windows installation DVD and then you go to command prompt and you execute this command, then it will work. But if I want to override this behavior, I can force it by putting the switch slash allow full OS. So I'm going to press up arrow key to get back the same command and I will type on forward slash allow full OS. This is not case sensitive, so you can type in uppercase or lowercase, no problem. And now when I press enter key, now I can see it's converting your disk. It's going to shrink this partition. Yeah, you can see it created the 100 MB partition and this drive is now converted to GPT. Okay, so this is done and I can see over here and I right click go to properties and volume and now I can see that it's showing that the partition style is good partition table GPT. So this was the first step done successfully. Uh, second step is restarting and going on to the, the firmware settings and change the boot mode from legacy to UEFI. So uh, just right click start shut down or sign out and I want to restart. Now keep on pressing F12 for you it may be different key to go to the BIOS setup or quick boot menu. So when it's starting I keep on pressing F12 until I get the boot menu. Okay, so now you can see it's giving me option to boot off from the UEFI. So uh, I will be going on to the BIOS setup. Now BIOS for different uh, machines, it might look different, but you need to figure it out where you have this boot settings. 
So uh, you're going to find boot sequence over here. We have boot list options. So you can see by default it is set up to legacy. I want to change it to UEFI. And now you can see it's showing that 100 MB UEFI partition where it can boot from. So that's all the changes I want to do. I just click on apply and exit. And now it will be booting off from the UEFI partition. Okay, though, so the system got restarted and now if I go to system settings, system information, and now you can verify that the BIOS mode is set to UEFI. So that was all about how to convert your uh, Windows translation from legacy BIOS to UEFI. Now in case if you are having Windows 7 installed and you want to upgrade to Windows 10 in UEFI mode, the best option would be that you perform the in-place upgrade of Windows 7 to Windows 10, uh, should be created as update Windows 10. And then you can use the same method for converting your uh, legacy, uh, mode UE legacy mode BIOS to UEFI. So hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.